A common question that comes up when it comes to check valves is how do I properly select a spring in order to get the cracking and resealing pressure that I need for my application? Well, first, I think it's important to understand what is the definition of cracking pressure and resealing pressure. Cracking pressure is that pressure in which you first get an indication of flow, a stream of bubbles. It's not necessarily when the valve is in the fully open position. Resealing pressure is that pressure in which there is no indication of flow. Reseal typically requires back pressure in order to reseal properly. Now there are several things that influence reseal pressure. The pressure and temperature of the media. The pressure and temperature of the environment. The design of the check valve. Some check valves have the poppet independent of the O-ring. Other check valve designs have the poppet and the O-ring bonded together. Now, in order to aid in preventing back flow, check valves are frequently used in series. Using check valves in series will reduce the amount of resealing pressure required. Finally, check valves are not safety valves, and they should never be used in applications where code-related safety issues are involved. For more information, please refer to Swagelock's exclusive Electronic Desktop Technical Reference Guide, or EDTR. A copy of the EDTR is available from your local Swagelock Sales and Service Center.